Uh, in other news today, New York City has, school has a new chancellor this afternoon. Just about an hour ago, Mayor de Blasio introduced Richard Carranza, the head of Houston's school system. He will now oversee New York City's 1.1 million public school children. The announcement comes just four days after the superintendent of Miami-Dade County accepted and then turned down the job. My what is news reporter NJ Burkett is at City Hall with much more on today's announcement. NJ. And that's right, Liz, the announcement coming about an hour ago. The press conference is still going on in City Hall behind me. But yes, Richard Carranza, the superintendent of schools in Houston, Texas, will be the next schools chancellor for the city of New York. He's 51 years old, and here is what we know about him so far. Uh, he, as, as I said, was the superintendent of schools in Houston. Before that, he was the superintendent of the San Francisco schools. He is a former bilingual classroom teacher and is a former principal. Much is being made today about his experience in the classroom. Now, to be clear, Carranza was the mayor's second choice and became the chancellor only after the Miami superintendent declined the job in a dramatic change of heart last week. But the mayor portrayed Carranza as a close second in their nationwide search. The mayor quietly met with Carranza over the weekend here in New York at Gracie Mansion and offered him the job after a series of discussions late last night. Carranza says he is honored by his selection and humbled by the challenges he will face as the next leader of America's largest school system. Here's what the two men had to say just a few minutes ago. He has been a teacher for many years was a teacher a principal, an administrator, and a superintendent of two of the most prominent school systems in America. Education is the cornerstone of our democracy. It is the great equalizer. It is a great empowerer of the next generation. And right now, as we speak, the 1.1 million children in New York are the future taxpayers of New York. They are the future doctors and lawyers and teachers. They are the future mayors. They are the future of this vibrant city, which is like no other in the United States. Carranza praising the city of New York and praising the city's school chancellor, Carmen Farina, as well. Uh, Carranza knows a lot about challenges. According to the Houston Chronicle, his district faces a $115 million budget shortfall at the moment and a potential state takeover due to poor academic performance. 